What's up, Wizards? It's Dev back again. SPMTG. It's late at night here on Wednesday morning, I guess we'll call it. And we got five new spoilers for you. A lot of them are very good green cards. So let's go ahead and kick it off. Let me go ahead and let you know this is what I am most excited for tonight. This is Herald of the Pantheon. Herald is crazy. I've been talking about the Green White Enchantment deck for about a week now, and I'm glad that I held off for a little while on it because. This definitely goes directly into that and anything else playing a lot of enchantments. Um, yeah, I think this card's going to definitely have commander implications and will probably go into a deck. This this does this does something. Look at all the awesome value on this. The 2 mana 2-2 two, two is good by itself, plus, you know, look at those things. <laughs> so there's definitely an enchantments deck. I think we all suspected it, but there definitely is one I think we can safely say now. Here is Bonded Construct. Bonded Construct? is crazy. Power creep is real. Power creep is a real thing, it turns out. Um, it's just a, a one mana, two, one that literally any color can play in has a fairly minimal downside. Like, yes, sign me up. This and Loyal Pegasus will swing in all day. I don't care. I really, I'm a big fan of this, uh, in case you can't tell. I'm really glad this exists at common, by the way. So, yeah, maybe a fairly aggressive limited environment. We'll see what happens, but either way, I love that this exists. This is Nissa's Revelation. Um, the thing with Nissa's Revelation is I do I do like the trend currently uh, that Revelations are cards that draw you cards and gain you life. <laughs> it's Shamanic Revelation, um, Sphinx's Revelation, and now this. Aside from that, I'm not really sure about it. But it does let you set up a huge creature draw, draw a bunch of cards, gain a lot of life. It doesn't really do anything for you on board at the time, and I really wish it was instant speed. So those things considered, I don't think it's going to see much play, but I do think it's a really interesting card, which we've seen a lot of and heard a lot of about more Magic Origins so far. But I do think that in the right thing, this might see play, but overall, I'm very cold on it seeing constructive play at all. Here is Guilt Leaf Winnower. Yeah, Guilt Leaf Winnower is actually kind of cool, you know? Destroy Tiger Teeth, Siege Rhino when it comes into play, Corsair of Crufix. There's a ton of stuff um, <laughs> that we're playing right now. Ojutai when he's tapped. Um, so, yeah, we've got plenty of targets for this. A lot of dragons have different PT, except for Storm Breath, stupid thing. But I do think that this is pretty darn awesome, and the Menace is not a throwaway ability. That's, that's not horrible. I hate that it costs five, though, so... It might be a little overpriced, but it, it is a Necrotal type effect, destroy a creature when it comes into play. So it, those tend to be fairly powerful. Whether it sees play, I'm not totally sure, but I, I do think it's a, a more than fine card, especially in limited. And finally, this is Outland Colossus. What? <laughs> what? What? Why? Why? Is, why? Look at it. It's um, five mana, six power, with crazy upside, you know? Like, the Renown 6, Renown 6, Renown 6. <laughs> Stupid thing. That's unbelievable. Not to mention, but that that can only be blocked by the one creature. Can't be blocked by more than one creature. That's actually pretty relevant. They're going to have a hard time dealing with this. And I, you know, it's it might not be Arbor Colossus, but it, that's hard to say. I mean, Arbor Colossus can only, you know, the one deck plays Arbor Colossus usually. And this, I mean, this can go in lots of stuff. So, the, the only other concern I think I have with it is, you know, do green-red decks, uh, you know, is this the best thing they can play? They already have a thousand threats. So, I mean, are they really going to play this over, like, Pelucranos? I, I don't think so, but I think that after, especially rotation, this, this might have some applications. It's really efficient, all things considered. This is a good card, and will probably end up in the budget bin for a while. So, I'm not saying speculate on it or whatever, but this will probably be good for budget players that want, you know, a cheap, efficient creature. He's not cheap, he's five mana, but for five mana, you get pretty cool stuff going on here, so I'm a fan. Well, that's all I got so far. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about these. Green really is crazy. <laughs> green is gaining a lot of traction. Hopefully the other colors catch up, because green is just freaking nuts. So, yeah, let me know how you feel about these spoilers. And I got goblins going up probably late Thursday night. And after that, I got something I'm pretty excited for that I want to do. And it's really, really goofy, but it might be strong. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave you hanging for now. I'll let you know in the next spoilers what I'm thinking. Or I'll probably let you know during the goblin deck tech. But anyway, sub for that if you haven't done that yet. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hitting thumbs up helps us so much. And we love when you do it. It's really nice. We feel... The actual love coming from you when you do that so please do it and uh yeah i'm dev i'll see you guys later thanks for watching my wizards